And on the one side, I see very strong men from uh, senators like John McCain to Lindsey Graham who are going around saying the sky will fall if the Pentagon is forced to make some kind of minimal cuts, which are really lack of increases. And yet, where is the movement, the, the voice of a movement that says, how dare you cut Pell Grants to our children who need money to go to college because college should be affordable to young people and not out of the reach of most young people in the country today. I mean, that is something totally wrong with our society. And where is the movement that says, how dare you think about cutting Medicaid, which is the safety net for people who don't have money to get some kind of basic health care. How dare you cut that and keep this vast amount of money that is used to kill people. And so when we are looking now at what is happening in our Congress and hear those voices of the strong men who say, we need this money to keep 800 bases overseas in countries that don't want us there. We need this money to keep producing weapons that are even not only the new weapons of the 21st century, but the old weapons of the Cold War that the Pentagon says we don't even need. And how is it that we allow these discussions to take the forefront and that we are relegated to be saying, uh, oh yes, cutting, uh, we, we, we need to have a strong defense, but you could still have a strong defense if you make some minimal cuts. We have to be out there saying, you could slash the Pentagon by 80% and still have the largest military of any country in the world and give us that money so our young people can afford to go to school, so that we can have health care for people who need it, and that we can rebuild the crumbling infrastructure of our country, and that we can focus our attention in, on what is a threat to the entire planet, which is global warming. So let's get out there, whether we are women or men, and be proud and vocal and effective when we go out and we say, slash the Pentagon and put that money into life-affirming activities, which is what the people on the planet need. Yeah.